Indeed. Thank you, Honorable. Thank you. Honorable Prime Minister, yes. a, quick, a couple of quick questions. Uh, let, let's begin with uh, this. Many have called a Christmas present for you as a party. Do you agree? It's a, a victory. Yes. It, yes. yes. This is a victory for democracy, a victory for our parliament, and it shows that Uganda has sorted out many of the political issues and now we can focus as a government on service delivery. You came to amend a couple of, you know, uh, constitution, um, add a couple of uh, amendments to the constitution, mm. which was majorly to remove the ceiling, the upper ceiling, uh, which many believe was for President Seveni. You've achieved a little more than that. Mm. You have got an extension of two years uh, on from the members of parliament. Mm. You are putting to a referendum the extension of president for a seven-year term, but also you've achieved a return on term limits. Does this uh, answer all the questions you wanted? It is a package full of democratic gains, and we should now move forward. Definitely, we have got more than we had expected. Tell me, do, would you walk away as prime minister and a member, a senior member of the NRA party, happy? with what transpired in the last three days? Well, of course I condemn the unparliamentary behavior of some of our colleagues. I also condemn the assault on the police who were doing their duty. But having put all of that aside, this has been a good period where the voice of the people of Uganda has spoken and spoken very loudly and conclusively. Isn't this bittersweet for you? Because many had not expected the return of the term limits. Is that acceptable to you as a party? Well, it has come. We accept the voice of the people. The extension and the of the presidential term to seven years, you will have to go back and sell this to your people. Is that something the party is ready for? We are ready for it. That's the core of the people. We are ready to do it. And we know we will overwhelmingly get victory for it. As you leave Parliament today, Honorable uh, Prime Minister, uh, with a couple of things that have happened. Amendment of the Constitution for both the lower ceiling and upper ceiling uh, for the uh, President uh, and other leaders. Uh, but also, you have now, you know, the term limits coming back in, in, into the Constitution. At your age, um, and having served in this same parliament for quite some time, uh, was this the way to go? I believe that the package that we have got out of the decisions made today, which indeed you have recited, is a good package for Uganda. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank Take you. care, Maurice. Thank you.